John Whaley and welcome to this episode of M5 Live. Today we're going to be talking about VDI and offshoring and we have a special guest, Dr. Watson, who has been using uh, VDI. So Dr. Watson, tell us what your experience has been using VDI. It has been an absolute unmitigated disaster, the greatest professional embarrassment I've suffered in my life. Not since I was an undergrad and using an Apple II have I used a computer system so inane and so incapable. <laughs> So what, what exactly went wrong with your VDI installation? Well, so I work on this volcanic secret base in the middle of the Pacific, far from civilization where there's peace and quiet and I can get things done and there's room for my laboratory. And they told me that they would install new powerful computers that I could do all my chemical modeling in some data center in Virginia. And I would just connect to them remotely. And I said, seems fine. And they spent over $1 million on it. And they told me that they could support 10, maybe 15 users on the system. Seems fine. And I try to connect to it, and I try to do my chemical modeling, and it's just full of timeouts and disconnects. It's just impossible to use. So is your problem with the latency to the to the to your VDI installation then? Yes, very much so. I was modeling the fine structure of hydroxy hydroxide. It was very close to a breakthrough, but every time I try to turn this little 3D model around, it's just timeout, reconnect, timeout, reconnect. Just infuriating. Well, if, I mean, at least your research was safe, right? I mean, right? safe in the data center, data center, data center. Everyone talks about the data center, and no one mentions the endpoint. Doctor Quithrix had hacked into my computer, into my laptop, and stolen my credentials, and stolen my data, and stolen my research, and published and scooped me. And he got this prized professorship at MIT that I have been lusting for my entire life since I was a boy, and now I'm a postdoc, shackled by this indecent VDI system. So thank you, thank you Dr. Watson for your insights on using VDI uh, for offshoring. Uh, so that, that's enough time for today. So uh, stick, stick around for the next episode of M5 Live where we talk a little bit more about where you can use VDI. Where can you use VDI? Where can you use VDI?